Hello, I'm Alastair Trotter, a principal at Innersight Consulting. So disruptive innovations are products or services um, which an organization brings to market which tackle a consumer problem by making the product or service simpler, more convenient, more accessible, or lower cost. The term uh, disruptive innovation was actually coined by a Harvard Business School professor, Clayton Christensen, uh, in his book, The Innovator's Dilemma. Uh, disruptive innovation um, works in contrast to sustaining innovation. Sustaining innovation is all about better, faster, stronger. Disruptive innovation is about simpler, cheaper, more accessible, more affordable. So any time there is a disruptive innovation, the first thing to note is that there is a, what we'd call a customer job to be done uh, that needs to be solved. Now in the case of Walgreens and the Well Experience, uh, uh, that customer job was essentially the, the patient experience, so the customer experience. Uh, I think in the past, uh, pharmacists and even retailers have focused very much on uh, uh, about driving the volume of transactions and have thought less about uh, how do we optimize around creating fantastic patient experiences. And so given the changing uh, sort of environmental factors in the broader healthcare space right now, we have a company that identified that they needed to essentially reorient everything they did around enabling great customer experiences and they thought hard about the accessibility of uh, pharmacy, they thought about the affordability, uh, they thought about patient education, uh, but all through the lens of the customer. They brought the pharmacist out from behind the counter into uh, a, a point where they could look at the, the patient face to face, shake their hands, have a conversation. They took advantage of that relationship to provide educational options. They recognized a new job, they built a solution that solved for it, and then they what well, we'd say we, they integrated around that with all their resources and processes to deliver that solution. I think if we're going to use the term disruption, uh, I think we would typically look more towards the edge of the healthcare ecosystem. I think a couple of examples that intrigue me um, today might be a mini clinic, uh, which is in the sort of retail pharmacy space, and they have a, a model which is very disruptive to the traditional primary care physician, and that they offer an opportunity to walk into a store which uh, you know, is going to be close to the consumer's home, uh, to have a simple choice of menu offerings, to get a uh, you know, deal with a sore throat or a common cold. I think another example might be ZocDoc, um, which is uh, a relatively new startup. What ZocDoc did was they said, we're going to target that one problem related to getting an appointment. And so they said, uh, in return for a small fee, we will find spare capacity in your local geography with primary care physicians willing to see you. And through a simple uh, you know, web-enabled app online, you could essentially book an appointment you know, 30, 60 minutes in the future so that you could address your problem of, I have you know, two hours to take time away from work and I need to see someone right now. Please visit us at drugtopics.com. Join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.